Hey guys, let's look at consecutive integers. First off, let's understand the title. We don't want to just go through a title without even knowing what it means. Consecutive means in a row. In other words, you have two numbers that are in a row. 7, 8, 9, 10, and so on. Okay, an integer, I hope you know what that is, is, uh, you know, to infinity, all the way back, and going, and then negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, and then to infinity, and so on. Okay, all right. How we designate consecutive integers? Well, uh, let's just say, uh, they say, oh, find three consecutive integers that blah, 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 whatever. Okay, well, if you don't know what something is in algebra, you just call it x or n or whatever you want. Okay, a consecutive integer, let's, pre let's pretend like it's 7, 8, and 9. If that uh, 7 is x, how would you call 8? And what would you call 8? If 7 is x, 8 would be x plus 1, right? And what would you call 9 then if the pattern continues? It would be x plus 2, right? Okay. And if you wanted to go 10, you'd be x plus 3 and so on. Okay, That's how you need to solve these problems. And here is an example. I'd write this down and make sure you have the exact, you know, the format exactly. So find three consecutive integers such that the sum of the first and the third is 146. Now that sounds really complicated. The easiest thing to do in, it, in these is to go ahead and just write. Okay, three consecutive integers. I'll call them x, x plus 1, and x plus 2. In other words, that's the first one, that's the second one, and that's the third one. Three consecutive integers. Okay, the sum of the first and the third. You know how to do this. How do you write the sum of the first and the third? Well, sum means add, of course. There's the first, so we'll just write x. Then since we're adding it, we'll do plus. The third is this one, x plus 2, is 146 equals 146, all right? And there you go. All you've done is take a few seconds to figure out this equation. Now, if you saw this equation in your book like this, you'd go, piece of cake, I don't need to do that. All you have to do is take that little teeny that sentence and turn it into the equation. So I have 2x plus 2 is 146, and I have 2x, moving the 2 over gives me 144. And if I divide by 2, Let's see, 14 divided by 2 is 7, 4 divided by 2 is 2. There we go. So my x is 72. What you want to write as an answer, if they say find three consecutive integers, you go 72, 73, and 74. And by the way, you can always check your answers. Is the sum of the first and the third, which is that one and that one, if you add those two, does that give you 146? The answer is yes, that works. Okay. All right, let's try another one. Find three consecutive integers, stop, three consecutive integers, x, x plus 1, x plus 2, there they are, 1, 2, and 3. Twice the sum of the first two, Ugh. okay, first off, let's take care of the sum of the first two. Well, here's the sum of the first two, x plus x plus 1, right? That's the first, that's the second, all right? If you do twice that sum, that means you're going to do twice the whole thing. All right? So this is two less than three times the third. Oh, boy. Okay, so this part, if you were to, like, put this on a little scale, this would be two less than three times the third, right? This part over here would be two less than. So what do we need to do to this side to make it even to that side? We need, we need to add two, right? In other words, if we add 2 on here, it pushes this thing down and makes it even. Okay, So twice the sum of the first two is 2 less than. Okay, so 2 less than over here. We add 2 to make it even. Okay, 3 times the third. Well, 3 times the third is 3 times the third, right? And there we go. And that's your setup. Now, again, if you saw this one written like it is in blue across there in your algebra book, you'd go, ah, no problem. I know how to do this. No problem. Okay, well, that's going to be 2x. So I'll just go 2 times 2x is 4x, 2 times 1 is 2, plus 2, Now 3 times x is 3x, 3 times 2 is 6, okay? So we've got 4x plus 4 is 3x plus 6, okay? I'm going to move this 3x over, that turns into x. I'm moving the 4 over, that turns into 6 minus 4, which is 2, okay? So my three consecutive integers would be 2, 3, and 4, okay? And there we go. All right, let's try one more before our practice problems. Uh-oh, look at that. 
find four consecutive integers. Well, this isn't too bad. We got x is the first, right? What's the second one? x plus 1. What's the third one? x plus 2. Fourth one? x plus 3. Okay, there we go. A little different. All right. 6 times the sum of the first and fourth. Yui. Okay, so let's add the first and the fourth. Okay, that'll be 2x plus 3, right? So 2x plus 3, that's the sum. But we do 6 times that? Yeesh. Okay. All right, and again, this is 26 less than. So on the seesaw, you know, this is like this. So to make this side even, we're going to have to add 26, right, to this side. So pushes down and everything. So this is 26 less than that, so there's plus 26. Then, less than what? 10 times the third. Well, 10 times the third is 10 times that one. X plus 2. Okay. All right. Let's take a look. 6 times 2x, 12x. 6 times 3, 18. Or, uh, yeah, 18. Plus 26. Okay, 10 times x is 10x. 10 times 2, 20. All right? 12x plus 18 plus 20. That'd be 12x. 18 plus 26 is 44. All right, 10x plus 20. Okay, so let's move the 10x over here. That'll give us 2x. Let's move the 44 over here to 20 minus 44, same thing as 44 minus 20, and with a negative, that'll be negative 24. And then two times what gives you negative 24, and the answer is negative 12, okay? But don't forget, your answer will be, this time, four in a row. So going on a number line, if you go to the right, you're gonna go negative 12, negative 11, negative 10, and negative nine, and that is your answer, okay? All right. Try the practice problem A and see what you get. We'll do two of these. Okay. Three consecutive integers. Here they are. X, X plus 1, X plus 2. All right. The sum of the first and the third is 142. So the sum of the first and the third is 142. That's a plus. Okay. So 2X plus 2 is 142. All right, so 2x gets, this 2 gets knocked over, and that's going to be 140, and then x is 140 divided by 2, which is 70. All right, so our answer has to be three of those. So the first is 70, the second is 71, and the third is 72. There you go. Okay, all right, pause it and try B. Alrighty, here we go. Four consecutive integers. There's one, there's two, there's three, and there's four. Okay. Eight times something, I know that. The sum of the first and the third. Hmm. Okay. So the first one and the third one, that'll be 2x plus 2. That is 40 greater. Okay, so let's visualize this. This 40 greater. So to make this even, we're going to have to put 40 on the right side. Okay, make sense? If that's 40 greater than the right side, the other side has to have more. All right, so we're going to go 40 plus something. Okay, that's going to be 10 times the fourth. So it'll be one, 10 times x plus 3. Okay, so 8 times 2x is 16x. 8 times 2 is 16. 40 plus 10 times x plus 10 times 3. All right, so I'm going to go 40 plus 30 is, I'll just call it 70. And then I'm going to go 10x. I'm going to pull this over to the left side. That will give me 6x. And then the 16 I will pull over here. That will be 70 minus 16, which is 54. And then x will be 9. And don't forget your answer. It has to, be, has to have all those. So 4 consecutive will be 9, 10, 11 and 12. Okay. Alrighty. Have a great day. Hope you enjoyed that. We'll see you soon.